it's Zena. Welcome to my horror library and we're back talking more spooky stuff. So last video I told you guys that we're going to be wrapping up our celebration for Black History Month and Women in Horror Month and we're going to be doing that by talking about one of my favorite movies ever, Death by Temptation, written, directed, produced and starring James Bond III. This movie was one of the first movies that made me want to become a filmmaker. I watched it actually at a very young age. I don't really remember what age. Honestly, it was between maybe like four or five. Clearly, whatever age I was, it was too young for me to watch, but I turned out pretty fabulous and fine. So if you have a four-year-old or five-year-old running around, I think that you should have them watch it. Don't come for me if you have your kids watch it, by the way. I'm gonna tell you guys what this movie is about and it is gonna be spoiler free and then I'm going to go and just into more detail as to why I love this movie. So basically this movie is about a young man named Joel and Joel is played by James Bond III and he is about to be a minister and he's also about to be 21 years old. He resides in North Carolina with his grandma and he decides that he wants to take some time away, take some time to himself because he's not too sure if this is exactly what he wants. So he decides to visit his friend Kay and Kay is played by Kadeem Hart Hardison, who lives up in New York and Kay is an actor. So these two they're like childhood friends. Once Joel gets up to New York you know he's really excited to be there. Kay is just such an awesome friend and they're able to like you know really confide into each other and it's funny because the two they have such a connection. While up there Joel he actually meets a woman. I'm a very mysterious woman and this woman she's actually a succubus. She goes to the same bar every single night and she pretty much she'll take home men different men every single night and no one ever sees them again. And once she lure them back to her apartment she violently attacks them and ultimately she kills them. And the type of men that she's going after, or like the men just pretty much coming to her, they cannot stay away from her, are men who are married, men who are just sleazebags. That's just pretty much a nice way to put it. Not saying that these men deserve this stuff at all, but she, again, she violently attacks them. The death scenes in this movie, you don't ever actually see the death scenes. You kind of see like a silhouette of the death scenes. And I'm gonna talk more about the cinematography. The cinematographer is Ernest Dickerson. So you guys, I'm pretty sure you've heard of him before. How can you not? Something I thought was so cool was his whole look, the whole aesthetic for this movie, I felt like was on point. Because obviously this movie, it was released in 1990. And even though it is like the 90s, it still has like that 80s feel as well as that 90s feel. Because with even with as far as it goes with the clothing, with the dialogue, how the characters like carry themselves and the music, it's just like a mix between the 80s and the 90s. And that's something that I really love. The budget was very limited. So I know that Ernest had to get very creative when showing like the death scenes in this movie. So as an example, I know like with a lot of the scenes that take place in the temptress home there will always kind of be like a silhouette kind of thing where you can't actually see the deaths i love the fact that he shaded the violence it just definitely added to the feel of the film when it comes to the succubus who's also known as the temptress it's pretty much the ultimate goal of her to tempt joel because joel you know he's about to be a minister it would be victory for her to be able to tempt a man of god you know, so it is kind of like good versus evil kind of thing when it comes to james bond the third i definitely do feel that it's so unfortunate that he only created this one movie that he only directed this one movie and i don't understand why and I never understood why I actually even had like the opportunity to be able to interview him on my podcast a couple of years back let me just paint a picture for you imagine being able to talk to the director that created your favorite movie ever okay not just like oh yeah I like that movie no it's your favorite movie ever okay so yeah like it, it was it was cool just being able to ask him all the questions I was curious about about the film being able to go back in that world and like picking the person's brain who created that world oh my god if you are interested in hearing about that interview you're welcome to uh, take a look at the description box below and I will leave like that link for you to check it out something else I wanted to talk about the character Joel as well as the character Kay I really do feel like again that these two just had such a great connection together it did come off like they've known each other their whole lives because as we're sitting there and watching them talk just like a normal conversation you felt that connection and even when they were arguing it felt real. Kay 
was just so likable. Here he is, he comes from North Carolina, most likely like a small town in North Carolina, and he made his way up to New York to follow his dreams as an actor, and he's doing very well for himself. He has the perfect wardrobe, he has the perfect apartment, he has an awesome car, you know, like ladies love him. The kind of character that you would definitely want to know more about. And then even when it comes to the character Joel, he just seems like just such a sweetheart. You just kind of just want to just give him a hug. You just kind of want to just like take your jacket off and throw it over his head and like cradle him and stuff. You just kind of want to like take a comb and like comb his hair while he's going to sleep. He's just like the kind of person that you just want to pour a cup of milk and like stir it with a spoon even though it's just there's it's just a regular cup of milk and you just want to give it to him and watch him like drink it just to make sure that he's fine. Point is it's just that you just want to take care of him you know you just want to make sure that he's good it's like he's like a little ray of sunshine that you just want to keep safe. Next thing I want to talk about is the succubus and the succubus also known as the temptress is played by Cynthia Bond. For the longest time I remember when I was a kid and I would like Sorry, my nose itched. I know it's like, Ellen, you're scratching your nose. Yeah, it what? It itched. For the longest time, when I was like a kid, I used to always like watching like opening credits, the ending credits. I was just like a really weird kid. But for the longest time, because you know, the director and the woman who plays the temptress, they have the same last name. So I always just assumed that they were married. You know, I'm like, whoa, look at them. You know, they're kind of like a horror couple. Whoa. I really love her performance. She really sold the role. The facial expressions that Cynthia Bond, that she was able to portray is just so believable. Kay actually describes her perfectly at one point. She's the perfect woman where it's just like, okay, she looks super sweet. She looks like she could be your best friend. You can bring her home to your mom. She'll bake cookies for you, okay? She'll braid your hair and make you a sandwich, do all those wonderful things. And then on the other side, this is the same woman that will honestly like literally rip your neck off. I mean like rip it clean off, like right off the socket. I don't really know if a neck has a socket or not. Well, let's just say eyeball. Eyeballs have sockets. So yeah, that she would like rip your eyeballs out of your socket. She put herself in the role. And I know that doesn't, that's like, oh, well she's an actress. So that's what actresses do. Yeah, that is what actresses do or they're supposed to do. But we don't always see that. And it's funny because I know that there are some people who consider that the succubus, that she's a vampire. She's not a vampire, guys. She's a succubus. And also Bill Nunn is in this movie. May he rest in peace. He is so hilarious in this movie. He does a great job. I really, really love his character. His character name is Dougie. And I'll just leave it at that. Oh God, I love him so much so much. Another thing I want to bring up about this movie is that it is not the traditional trauma movie. So I know that trauma movies are mainly known for being like comedy horrors, but that's not always the case for all trauma movies. They do have like some serious horror movies. The fact that this one kind of like stands out and not just because it is a black exploitation horror or that it's an all black cast. It's just it's different from other trauma movies because it is not a comedy horror. There are some funny elements. There are some funny elements in this movie, but it is more of a serious tone horror. When it comes to Death by Temptation, I do feel like if you're someone who love 90s horror movies or late 80s, you know, horror movies that has that feel, or love black exploitation movies, or love, you know, trauma movies, or honestly, you just want to watch something new, I highly recommend giving this movie a chance because I do feel like it's fun. This movie genuinely makes me happy and I find that I'm going back constantly to rewatch it because I absolutely love it. Like, it's just as simple as that. Like, I know that we all have those comfort horror movies that we love and this one is that for me. You ever check out this movie and you want to have a conversation about it? I, I'm always down to talk about this movie because it is one of my favorites. I'm hoping that one day that there will be a sequel or a remake or something like that. I would love to see that. You know, and I know people's like, oh, I don't like, I don't, I don't like re- Okay, sure, but some movies I feel 
it could be a good time. If you had an opportunity to check out Death by Temptation, I'm definitely interested in your thoughts on it. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for celebrating Black History Month and Women in Horror Month with me. So next week when we come back, we are going to be starting a whole new thing and it's a secret, so you have to check it out. And it's not like a secret like, oh, it's a secret and I'm really like, oh my God, what, what am I gonna do? No, it's a secret, okay? So that's why you have to come back next week so you can see it. All right, I'll see you guys next time.